Hey there friends, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to use Autotune, or in this case, what it's called is pitch correction here in GarageBand on your Mac. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm on my MacBook Air here. I'm using GarageBand. This is gonna be a similar process if you're using this on your mobile device. But again, this tutorial is going to be for the desktop version. Okay, so we again are in GarageBand. I've got a very simple uh, recording here that I've brought up. We've got a piano track, we've got a vocal track, and we've got uh, our main audio track with a, a song we're gonna overlay some things on. Now, when you do pitch correction or auto-tune, again, you have to do it on a track that is working with audio files. So again, once we have selected the specific audio file that we want to tune, what we can then do is come up here and we're gonna click on this little uh, scissors icon, and that's gonna bring up our editor. Now, once we're in the editor, there's a couple of different options that we have. We either have a region or we have track. Make sure you're on track. And then what you'll see down below there is your pitch correction options. Now again, I'm not gonna go into the flex uh, enabling or key limit to key. Basically, I just wanna show you where the main pitch correction slider bar is. Now this can be done all the way from zero. Obviously, you can punch it all the way over to 100, and this will bring in a ton of pitch correction or again, auto-tuning your voice to a specific key. Now, here's the part that's very, very important. This pitch correction is set to the key that your overall project is set to. So again, this is something you usually set up in the very beginning when you're importing a new project. Now again, you do need to make sure by clicking this that you've set your key to the appropriate setting for the overall project. You don't wanna be pitch correcting if you're singing in A when you have this setting to C. So you're gonna have this in C major, that's where all of my other tracks are going to be recording into. And as I'm sliding this, it's going to, again, take some of those errors or anything that's off pitch, and it's going to shift it either up or down so that it matches that overall key of the song. Use this sparingly, friends. Uh, mess around with it a little bit. See what kind of results you can get and which settings end up being best for your specific project. Hope that helps. Stay tuned, we're actually making a bunch more GarageBand tutorials. Those will be coming out soon, so subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one.